and welcome to Clemson, South Carolina, where once again, the Tigers are celebrating another national championship, a parade from Sykes Hall down Highway 93 will end here at historic Riggs Field as Clemson will celebrate the 2021 National Championship for their men's soccer team. Fans right now starting to line up around the parade route as they get set to honor the Tigers historic accomplishment, their third national championship in program history. Hey there, I'm Aaron Chuslock. We have the full parade coverage ready to go as the Tigers are starting to get on the floats. The fans are starting to line up as they look to honor this historic run from the men's soccer team. So many big wins right here at historic Riggs Field. And of course, the biggest wins uh, in recent memory for this program, certainly coming in two of the last three weeks in the NCAA tournament where Clemson knocked off the number one and number two teams in the final to their third national championship, the 2021 squad joining the 1984 and 1987 championship teams. Again, it is a cold, blustery afternoon here in Clemson. Maybe not ideal parade weather, but the Tigers fans are coming out to support this team despite the weather, and they are starting to line up here along Highway 93 to support the Tigers as they look to celebrate yet another national champion. You could arguably call Tiger Town title town in recent memory as Clemson football, of course, has won two national championships last decade in 2016 and 2018. Clemson soccer now jumping on the championship bandwagon as they bring home the 2021 crowd. Going to give you a couple shots along the parade route as folks start to uh, line up here. And of course, we will uh, anxiously await when they actually start moving on the parade. It's, uh, you know, a, a, a moving timeline as of now, but fans are starting to turn out and apparently the parade is starting to move. Again, Clemson is starting from Sykes Hall. They will move down Highway 93, a span of about three to four blocks here, and they will end at Historic Riggs Field. But the celebration doesn't stop there. After they get done the parade, the men's soccer team will be honored at halftime of the Clemson men's basketball game tonight against Boston College. Certainly a lot of interesting storylines there with Earl Grant, the head coach at Boston College, uh, former assistant coach for Clemson, back in town with the Eagles as Brad Brownell and company square off at Little John. That game tips off at 6.30. Again, the men's soccer celebration will be at halftime of the basketball game. So we're going to leave you with some of the sights and sounds of the parade as it gets going. Fans starting to line up here. A lot of excitement. Clemson University once again on top of a collegiate sport. Clemson is the national champions of 2021, and the fans are turning out as of now to celebrate them.
The third national championship in Clemson men's soccer history celebrated right now here in Tigertown. The parade just getting started. They're right by Sykes Hall as they begin their path down Highway 93. The parade route will end where I'm standing here at Historic Riggs Field where Clemson won so many big soccer matches this past season. The Tigers celebrating their third national championship in program history. The 2021 squad joining the 1984 and 1987 teams of hoisting the ultimate trophy in collegiate men's soccer. It's Clemson's seventh national title across all sports. And really what's really incredible about that is that they're the only university in the country with three or more national championships in both football and men's soccer. And you'll remember the most recent title parades we had here at Clemson, the 2016 and 2018 national championship parades for the football team. Yet another one as the parade starts right by Sykes Hall. I believe I can see them starting to make their way down here. Fans are braving the cold weather to line up and support the Tigers. Such an incredible run they made through the College Cup to win the entire thing. And Clemson soccer has been one of the more dominant teams in recent memory. ACC regular season championships, big time wins in the NCAA tournament. But a national title is certainly the cherry on top for Mike Noonan and his Tigers. They're sending a bunch of guys to the pro ranks. The talent certainly evident in their 2-0 win in the national championship game over the second seeded Washington Huskies. But it was the Tigers reigning supreme. Fans starting to turn out in droves here up towards the start of the parade route. And again, they'll begin at Sykes Hall, make their way down here from Highway 93, ending at Historic Riggs Field. And then the Clemson soccer team will be honored at halftime of the men's basketball game tonight when the Tigers take on Boston College at 630. So many smiles from young soccer fans. And it's something that Clemson soccer fans have been waiting a long time. Again, their first national championship since 1987. What a program Mike Noonan's built. What a celebration underway here in Tigertown.
The Clemson marching band leading the way for the Tigers men's soccer team as they are being honored for their third national championship in program history. The parade starting to make its way to historic Riggs Field. What a year for Clemson men's soccer. They start the year 8-0-1, did not have a loss until late September, that's more than a month without a loss, is how they started big time wins against ACC foes like NC State and Boston College. But this team rallied, and boy did they go on a run in the NCAA tournament all the way to the College Cup. And again, two of the final three weeks, wins over the number two and number one teams in the country in route to the national championship. On a cold, blustery day here in Clemson, South Carolina, Tiger Town once again celebrating another national title. Clemson men's soccer joining the Clemson football program with three national championships each. They are the only school in the country to have three or more titles in both men's soccer and football. And you can see a lot of excitement here in Clemson, South Carolina. Fans lining this entire parade route. You can see Highway 93 shut down for the celebration. An improbable run for Clemson men's soccer. They've had ACC titles before, but their third national championship, certainly the cherry on top in Mike Noonan's tenure here of the Clemson men's soccer team. The marching band approaching Historic Riggs Field leading the way. The celebration officially on. The 1984 and 1987 National Championship trophies crossing Riggs Field right now as Clemson honors the 2021 National Champion Tigers, their third in program history. Clemson's mayor turning out for the event, of course, Clemson President Jim Clements. 
celebrating yet another national championship under his direction. The team starting to make their way. You can see him about a half a block away from historic Riggs Field, where they won so many national or so many game matches this year. Of course, the national championship and the Collegiate Cup away from home. Cary, North Carolina is where they did the damage there. But Clemson men's soccer once again hoisting the top trophy in collegiate men's soccer and celebrated with a national championship parade, something they become accustomed to here in little old Clemson, South Carolina. Certainly a juggernaut of a football program and men's soccer making their claim as being right there among the tops in the country again in an incredible run through the postseason clemson knocked off so many big time teams the final three weeks they knock off the number one and number two teams in the country in route to winning the national championship what a run for the Clemson Tigers. <laughs> Not really. Let's get there first. Bro. Here's the head coach Mike Noonan, of course winning his first national championship with the Tigers under his tutelage, the team following suit. They are just about a half a block away from starting. To make their way to historic Riggs Field. And here they come right now, the Clemson Tigers the 2021 national champions as the parade starts to wind down again it started all the way up at Sykes Hall down highway 93 they go and it starts to wrap up here at historic Riggs Field you can see the fans starting to turn out in droves as well they followed this team throughout the entire parade route Clemson will be honored soon after at halftime of the Clemson men's basketball game tonight. But you can see the celebration starting at 3.30 this afternoon. They are holding the national championship trophy for the third time in Clemson men's soccer history. The Tigers are national champions. And as the parade begins to wind down here, what a celebration for this Clemson men's soccer team. The third national championship in program history. Of course, not ideal parade weather, but a pretty good turnout to celebrate the national champions. Such a historic run Clemson men's soccer made in route to taking home the top trophy in men's soccer. And of course, another national championship here in Clemson, South Carolina. They are the first school in history to have three national championships in both football and men's soccer. We're going to catch up here with head coach Mike Noonan here in just a few minutes as we get set to bring you more of the celebration. Again, it continues tonight at Little John Coliseum when the Tigers men's basketball team takes on Boston College at halftime. The men's soccer program will be honored once again 
for their third national championship. So much celebration in the year, in the air, I should say, an incredible year in Clemson athletics. And of course, we will have full coverage for you throughout the day here on Fox Carolina on our website, foxcarolina.com, our social media pages, and on air tonight on the 10 o'clock news. We want to thank you for joining us for our live special coverage of the Clemson Men's Soccer Parade. A lot to be excited for if you're a Clemson fan and a lot of optimism as Mike Noonan and this squad get set for the 2022 season and look to bring home yet another championship. I'm Aaron Cheslock. Thanks for joining us here.